Hello everybody, I'm Mr. Mr. Hockey here, and today we're going to be talking about the Toronto Maple Leafs re-signing two of their forwards, forwards Andreas Janssen and Kasperi Kapanen. Andreas Janssen signed a $3.4 million contract, and that's the annual average value for four years, and Kasperi Kapanen gets an annual average value of $3.2 million for three years. Andreas Janssen, 20 goals, 23 assists for 43 points. Uh, Kasperi Kapanen, 20 goals and 24 assists for 44 points. Okay, so the Leafs still have... I was watching the TSN. The Leafs still have three more guys to sign, including Mitch Marner. And they have $6 million of cap space available. Here, let me just go through the lines quickly of where they were. So the Leafs line, this is the latest they had game, of game seven against the Boston Bruins where they lost five to one. But here, left wing goes first, center, and then right wing. So they had Zach Hyman, John Tavares, Mitch Marner, and second line, Andreas Janssen, Matthews, and William Nylander, and then um, Con Con Connor Brown, N Nazem Kadri, Kasperi Kapanen on the third line, and the fourth line, was Trevor Moore, Frederick Gaudier, and Nick Patan. Um, so, Janssen is on the second line, and Kapanen on the third line. So, you can see, obviously, there's no Patrick Marlowe. The, the, the trade of dumping him to Carolina, it worked. It saved cap space. But now, the problem is, you're, you're, you don't, you have... Two lines, your bottom two lines aren't reliable. You have Kapanen, and that's it on your bottom. I mean, Nick. I mean, the the rest of you guys on your line. Connor Brown. They said he 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 he's a hot topic. He could be traded. He could not. You can't have that. Either he's in or out on the third line. Now some Kadri. He can get. He gets suspended. He can lose his temper. He takes penalties. Not always the best guy. On your third line, tre on your fourth line, you have Trevor Moore, Frederick Gauthier, and Nick Patan. These aren't reliable guys that you can count on to give you night in and night out performances. And the you need that to win a Stanley Cup. A lot of teams don't have it. And then they go, they think they have it, they but they go into the playoffs and then... They just get worn down. The top guys get worn down, and they can't do anything. The Leafs, look, Tavares, he's talented. Matthews, he's talented. Zach Hyman, he can show some talent. Mitch Marner, if they're able to, he's a restricted free agent. We'll get into that later. William Nylander, loads of talent. Because it's very cabinet. He's got talent to him. He scored 20 goals, 24 assists. Johnson, again, 20 goals, 20, 23 assists. I mean, come on. It's a talented team, but when you go deep into the playoffs, when you play teams like Boston, you play teams like Tampa Bay, you play teams like maybe Washington, you're not going to do it. It's your, You're going to eventually, when Tavares and Matthews, when they wear down, then you're, you're, luck, you're stuck with who? I mean, everyone agrees that Andreas Janssen doesn't perform as much and as consistently as John Tavares or Matthews. The defensive pairings are left defensemen on first line Morgan Riley with Ron Hainsey, Jake Muslin with Nikita Zaitsev, remember his name, um, and Jake Garner with Travis Dermott. Um, Nikita Zaitsev, he's demanded a trade. He wants to be traded from Toronto. Toronto can get his salary off the books. That would be a great for Toronto. Um... Connor Brown, another guy that TSN spoke about, that they could potentially trade him. But then again, what are you getting, and how is it affecting your roster? Um, but right now, the, you're the Leafs, um, and you've got six million dollars for Mitch Marner and two others. All right, the stats for Mitch Marner: he had 26 goals. 68 assists for 94 points. Um, they're valuing him at $10 million. I don't value him at $10 million. I value him at more around 7.5 to 
8.3 million dollars i don't think he's worth 10 million dollars if you look at the comp offer compensation seat for a restricted free agent compensation for, uh, for about 6 million to 8 million it is a first round pick second round pick a third round pick and for about 8 million to 10 it's two first rounders a second rounder and a third rounder so that's what the Leafs would be getting if another team took Mitch Marner as a restricted free agent. But, you know, I'm always asking in these videos when I'm talking about a specific team, is this team a team that can go on, that, it, that this lineup can win? And for Toronto, a sense, you're just paying your guys of more millions of dollars to do the same thing. You're going to send in the same exact lineup, maybe with a couple small tweaks, that loses, that blows a 3-2 series lead to Boston Bruins and loses game 7, 5-1, and you're expecting to win a Stanley Cup. No, that's, and that's not going to happen. I say this because if they, if they instead, if they're going to, if they really want to be a contender, then maybe they can lose Marner, but get the draft picks and rebuild and get more players than Mitch Marner because the draft picks will amount to more players than Mitch Marner. They'll go to at least two players, three players, maybe four players that can make a difference. My point is you can't send in the same lineup and expect for different results like that that's like trying the same thing twice except expecting for different results so that's what toronto's gonna try here and well yes you'll get to the first round don't you oh, yeah. you'll keep losing in the first round you're never getting good traffic you're never gonna change anything it's not gonna work but eventually you're gonna realize that this isn't working oh, yeah. so i think right now take the draft picks let mitch marner go build around austin matthews and and take the draft picks, develop those draft picks. When those draft picks are ready, Matthews will be in his prime. So will Tavares. You'll have another. You'll have a different, whole different team that you've been upgrading, and you should be a good team. So I think if the Leafs are going to go ahead, spend a lot of money on Mitch Marner, go with the same line of year after year. They're just going to screw themselves up. Doesn't matter what your head coach is, you still don't have a lineup worthy that can win a Stanley Cup. That's my opinion. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below what you think of these deals. Uh, I hope the Canadians get Marner. I mean, they would have to pay, but I think it would be worth it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Tell your friends, and I will see you in the next one.